Arts Ability is an inclusive arts programme that supports people with disabilities living throughout the county of Wexford. It's unique in that it's long term and it's been running since 2003 and it's a 50-50% partnership between the Arts Office in Wexford County Council and the HSC and it operates out of five centres throughout Wexford County. I love my work with art, but with that I can express myself and uh, it's a challenge to me. Uh, uh, it gives me satisfaction. I like art and I'm good at it. I suppose one of the great parts of the Artability programme here is artists having the time to develop their own work and develop a professional practice. So it's not just about making work, it's about getting the work out there um, and getting into uh, professional galleries and showing the work and taking part in the art world. My name is Mary Houlihan and I like doing art because it's very relaxing. I like doing different colours and having an exhibition down this year in Thomastown, my own exhibition. I like um, drawing flowers and all like that, and man, I can think of like, I didn't come into my head a drawer, yeah. It would. <laughs> At first, I was just writing for self expression, and I found when I produced something, I felt it was good and it was something of value to me and it made me uh, have a different view of my self-worth. It makes me feel happy to explore different areas and how to write a poem and how to get all to rhyme together and all that. It's particularly rewarding for me and for the writers, I think, when on the day of a publication launch, they can pick up that book, find the page and look and show somebody that's my poem, that's my name there in the book, this is me. I think that's what it's all about really. And it's great to see people having the courage to see a work through from first word on a blank page, which can be daunting, to publication day. I have an interest in poetry and oh, my writing gives me a great boost. I look forward to coming, coming to the class. I like taking part in the Visual Art in KTAC because uh, it's a chance to express yourself and I have a love of colour for that reason on its own. Like it's been said before, it's therapeutic and I find it therapeutic. I love to get into it, you know, I, I love getting into clay and, and do it with my hands, you know, and I make things so they can clean very well, with no bother, you know. I just make things and then turn into things that I love to look at, like those things, you know. I am interested in the relationship between art and health. And I find that the practice of art, whether it's painting, working with clay, which is very tactile, or textiles, printing, you become lost in the moment. There's also social engagement here within the context of the studio. It's uh, usually full of lively banter. I get to be with myself. I like art very much. I, uh, it helps me. Music is food for the soul and it heals the soul. It helps greatly with mental health issues and you gain more confidence and you gain so much from being in the group. A lot of the things that you lose when you have a mental health issue. I enjoy the groups and that's why I come because I enjoy it. I wouldn't be here if I didn't enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 
the key thing is with the group here that everyone is welcome and all levels are welcome and that I suppose they see themselves that they actually can start to read music again or sing three-part harmony or take up a violin or tin whistle um, in a relaxed environment and feel comfortable within the group. I've been coming here for about three years and the reason why I like to take part in this is because it has opened up my heart, it's opened up my mind and um, you get such a sense of fulfillment and joy when you're here because a lot of us have been in a dark place so it is really like from darkness to light. We have coming up shortly an exhibition along with the other centres in the County Council offices so it'll be really important um, just for the artists to actually see their work on display there in a, you know, the, the gallery context. I would like to say to all of you, the artists here today, congratulations. It's just fantastic to see work like this being expressed and please, please continue to make work, continue to write poetry, to sing songs and to paint and draw because it's what's really important about who we are. I think we're at a very exciting moment with the Arts Ability Programme. We've recently expanded to music and I'm really looking forward to continuing to work with the HSC and our team of artists over the coming years to further develop this programme. It's amazing what you, what you can do when you try, because you never try, you don't know what, what you're capable of to actually do it like, you know? and sometimes I've surprised myself like, you know? But I'm doing other things as a result of this. I'm doing a college degree. I have come from a lot of trauma in my life. And music soothes the soul, there's nothing like it. It made you feel capable of producing something when you see it up on the wall and think like I did that and other people that I know did the other ones and you know it's, it's an achievement in itself. I used to have the attitude, I'm a mental patient, I'm not able. But the poetry book and chap changed that because I realised I was able, and although it's late in my life to come to this conclusion, it was a great help to me.